My name is Aisha and I'm from Glasgow. Today I'm going to be addressing four misconceptions about the face veil. Misconception one, we refuse to take the face veil off when it comes to security. This is genuinely not the case. We will happily take our face veil off when it comes to security, whether that be in an airport, in a bank, or in my case, buying a pair of scissors from the pound shop. Misconception two, that we refuse to remove our face veil when it comes to anyone with additional needs. For example, anyone who's hard of hearing or who is deaf. This is a really important one that we need to address because it is a genuine concern for a lot of people. The first thing I want to say is that we are not arrogant, we are not out of touch. We will accommodate such needs when necessary. If someone relies on seeing my face to communicate, I will lift my veil for them. Misconception three, we have been forced to wear this by our husbands, our fathers, or our brothers. We are not forced to wear the face veil by any person. In fact, more women who are looking to put on the face veil are often urged by their families not to do so because of safety issues. In terms of other countries who use the face veil to oppress the women, this is not permitted in Islam, so therefore is not from it. I'm from the UK, my forefathers are from the UK. I'm actually a revert to Islam. I became Muslim when I was 18 years old. I am not forced by anyone. I'm pretty sure a few members in my family would love to see me take it off. But it all comes down to this. I should be the only one in control of what I choose to wear. Simple. Misconception four. Muslim women wearing the face veil do not want to interact with the community. We have to consider a few things with this one. First of all, we have to consider everyone who is involved, so everyone in the community. Also have to consider people as individuals. Not everyone likes to socialize, and to be fair, not everyone should be made to feel guilty about that. There's different reasons for why people are like that. But for the most part, as a Muslim, is a part of my religion to be a productive and active role in my community, whether that be interacting with my neighbours or doing something that helps develop and benefit the community as a whole. These are encouraged in our religion. It is time we started breaking the stereotypes and today I start with mine.